Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the hatching actually the, about the custom hatching how we can do how we can apply and what you should need to create your own one so I think this is enough talking this is really fast tutorial fast and complete tutorial uh, let's start it first thing first you should understand if you are for example using like I'm using the visual style this is hidden line or your um, hatching it will be gone or it will come from the um, materials so let's check it out what type of the materials we are using now for example for this floor let's go to the edit type we will find here the structure and you will find finish wood she let's open up it and you will see now on the under materials for the 2d graphics we don't have anything so as you can see for the cut pattern yes we have some vertical things but the our for the our foreground we don't have anything so of course you can open up here and you will try find some for example wood decking but you will not will find it at all you should import it from the after after cut but you should know how to do that or you can create it right now in the revit uh, so for the this uh for this tutorial you need to get the pi, pi revit this is totally free i will leave the link below this video this is uh, really fast to uh, install it for those who already have that let's go to the uh, level one oh i mean the level zero and we will start from the our drawing we will go to the annotate here we will find our detail detail line and let's draw some some way here this is only the boundary it's nothing special you cannot you if you don't want you cannot you can don't to draw it but i need it for example and after that i need the drawing line let's draw one line from the uh, start to the finish and this is 500 what exactly i want i will do it one more time to make it really 500 millimeters after that on the middle i will do one line here and let's copy it only three these lines i will copy it from that part to middle of that here somewhere here it doesn't matter uh, so I will copy that one to the 2500 millimeters. So it's here. Uh, let's do like this and here. And now I will select all these things and I will copy it with the multiply mode. So let's try to copy to the till the end. Don't use array. We will do it everything manually here. So I will delete all these lines and i will delete this line and i will that one i will do a bit smaller so now we have our pattern so this is uh how looks like our pattern actually i need this line too and that one too so and let's make it like that okay awesome uh so uh now we will go to the pi revit let's go to the pi revit and here you will find the make the pattern let's open up the make the pattern if you will do like this uh you cannot deselect everything uh, i mean you should uh this is another way how to create the pattern we will use like this for example i want to create pattern from all these lines so just select all these lines go to the pi revit use the pattern and you will open up your make the pattern use the model pattern because model pattern uh, i will show difference between model pattern and detail pattern so for for now we will use the model pattern and let's say this is will be decking let's stay back uh, create the fillet region no we no need to use the high the resolution yes okay so and let's create the pattern that's easy really and now you should uh, choose the left bottom part and uh right uh, highest part so like we will do like that and finally we did it so as we want as we know we are using here the some special materials so let's go and we'll check again so so this is wood she uh-huh uh-huh this one so clipboard and let's go to the pattern and we will change draft to the model and we will find here our deck let's say okay here it is let's say okay let's say okay again okay Ta-ta! we get our decking but something wrong here as you can see i have one straight line here why because actually it's not shameless uh texture uh we get this line we don't have we shouldn't get uh, this line so what we're gonna do actually it's pretty easy uh you should delete this line and you should delete this line uh, now we I will make here the point I will do like this and I will delete this line too So now I will select everything except this line. I will go again to the pi revit make the pattern Everything same. I want to also use the deck one. I want to reach uh, I want to regenerate it and Create the pattern left part 
right part on this uh, dot. Just a few seconds, done. As you can see, everything all right. Why? Because here the uh, now tiling working perfectly and we don't have any straight lines on our pattern. And why I did model? Because model, you can uh, you can select your model. As you can see, I can uh, I can join to the my line on the model part. And if I will go to 3D, it looks like the real one, as you can see. But uh, what we, we will get if I will change the model, for example, let's say to the uh, draft one. Let's select again everything by a rabbit, and we will find here the pattern. Uh, now I will change to the uh, detail, and I will say deck again. Uh, let's create the pattern again, uh, lowest uh, left side and highest the right side. Just a second, uh, done. So uh, let's go to 3D and uh, now I will go to the material. So with material manage, here is my materials and we will change our wood uh, sheeting clipboard to the uh, drafting one. So let's find here our deck. So it's here. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. So uh, it's just rotate, but nothing changed. But if you will change your view, it will change too. So the drafting one, it's not for the static things. You should use the mod model one. But yes, it's pretty pretty cool. Uh, you can rotate uh, your view with your hatching, but it's not cool for your drawings. So for that things, of course, you should use the model one. Model one, it's static one, and uh, it never will change the position. So let's do like this, let's do like this. And as you can see, it's really on the same position. Let's say you want to change position of your hatching. So what you can do? Actually, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can uh, choose your line and you can drag and drop it right here. For example, I can use, for example, a line if you want. For example, let's use the align. Uh, I will choose this line and I'll choose that line and you can align your model uh, hatching. This is pretty cool because uh, you can work it on the plan, you work, can work it on 3D and you can make it more real. If you will go for example to the materials, you will find here under uh, alignment, you will find the texture alignment and you can do it even here, but here you will work with your real texture. So you will use, for example, your real drawings, I mean the, your real decking, and you will place your align exactly to the your texture. And after that, okay. So, and again, it will change here. This is really cool. You should use the Pi Rabbit. It's really simple. Find it below this video. And for now, this is tutorial finish. It was fast tutorial about the hatching in Rabbit. You can do whatever you want. Don't forget about a shameless texture. If you don't know how to create your shameless texture, I will f I will leave the link below this video. How to create it uh, uh, and how it's working actually. Maybe you will understand better how it's working. So for now, thank you for watching, guys, and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to road check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time